guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an updated wardrobe tour. I have my new wardrobe here behind me. I've done a few of these through time because we've moved a couple of times. As some of you guys know, we recently moved into this wonderful house that I'm sitting in today. Um, it's a house from the 60s that's been partly renovated, so we've taken on the rest of the renovation. It was pretty clear when we moved in that they have done the renovation sort of through different decades because there's not really any cohesive theme throughout the house. It was very like, you know, different ceilings, different floors. It was just not very cohesive and that's what we're trying to give the house right now to give it sort of a more light and airy and more modern feel. So the bedroom which I'm sitting in right now is one of those rooms that we have changed completely. New floors, new walls, new ceiling, a new color in here and a completely new wardrobe which I have here behind me. I'm so excited to invite you guys in and show you the closet space that we've chosen tell you guys a little bit more about the closet itself if you're a long time follower you might remember that we had sort of like a walkthrough closet in our old house so when you're walking into the bedroom there was sort of like a hallway before that with a closet on each side so my closet on one side and then my husband Morten's closet on the other side so the closet we have now is actually a lot smaller than what we had before when we had those two like big wardrobes um, because we needed to fit it inside of this room but it doesn't feel that way at all because we've been pretty smart about the designing process and also you know utilizing the space inside of the closet is a lot more clever than our old wardrobe so there's no space wasted whatsoever everything has been thought of which is pretty cool so the wardrobe itself is bought at a retailer's called Davidson if you're Danish you probably already know it it's a place where you buy tools and paint and all sorts of different like worky things but you can also buy things as wardrobes. This one is from a brand called Organized and as far as I know it's a Danish brand. All of the closets get produced in Denmark, so sort of like locally, which is always great in terms of sustainability. The materials used, at least, you know, the wood, which is a huge part of the wardrobe, it's made out of wood, it comes from Sustainable Forestry, which is PEFC certified. So sustainably sourced wood, which is also amazing and also one of the reasons why we chose this specific closet space. Plus, it's sort of like in between when it comes to the price. It was definitely not cheap, don't get me wrong. Really wanted something that was clever, like in terms of utilizing the space inside of the wardrobe. We wanted something preferably sustainably made. And we wanted something that could go from like the floor and all the way up to the ceiling. So something that could be custom made like that to fit this specific room. Oscar, the snoring is back guys, he's right here. <laughs> so there are several reasons why we chose this, this Closet. And like I said, the price is sort of like in between. It's not super cheap, but it's not among the most expensive closets. Like we've looked other places as well, and there are definitely more expensive closets out there, but this is sort of like in between. So I'll leave a link for the um, closets down below if you want to have a look. If you live in Denmark and you have the possibility of looking at these wardrobes, then there'll be a link for you guys down below. It's really clever because there's sort of like an online designer, kind of like Ikea has like an, an online designer where you can design your own wardrobe basically. So check it out if you have time. So I think that's enough introduction for the wardrobe. Let's go on back and have a look inside. All right, so as you might have guessed, this is my side of the wardrobe. The other side of the wardrobe is modern, so it's kind of like parted completely in the middle. So we have exactly the same amount of space on each of our own sides, um, but we've just sort of designed the inside of the wardrobe differently from his side to my side. I don't have the biggest wardrobe in the world because I'm probably sort of like a minimalist when it comes to clothing and fashion. If you don't know this, if you're not following me already, I'm very much into sustainable fashion and in general consuming less fashion because it's better for the environment, it's better for me, better for my wallet and it's better for like my my mind really in general because I stay true to my own style. I don't like to fuss around with clothing too much. Love personal style, I love experimenting with different sorts of outfits but I really like to use what I have in my wardrobe first and foremost. So that's sort of like the way that I work around fashion these days where I have done for like five years now. So the way that I've chosen to design my side of the closet. In our old house, we kind of had all of our like undies and everyday wear 
separate it, but now we have all of those things together. So that's why I have a few drawers in here because I needed some space for my nightwear and my socks, my undies, my sportswear as well, because we sort of needed to fit every, everything inside one wardrobe. So up here, I have all of my everyday wear. This is my winter capsule wardrobe that I've got going on right now. And as I've mentioned before, I like to keep most of my clothing on hangers because I just feel like it gives much better overview of what I have inside of my wardrobe. I can easily like pick something out and choose what to wear in a busy everyday life. Plus also when I'm washing my clothes, when I take it out of the washing machine, I hang it directly onto a hanger, onto the line dryer. And then once it's dry, I can just pop it right back into the wardrobe. So nothing changed here. I still like to do this. This way of doing it also really eliminates a lot of like the need for steaming or ironing your clothes because when it's wet and it's hung like that, the gravity will sort of like smooth out the fabric. So just another great reason to do it this way. Also just want to point out that yes, I know that I'm using a metal wires or metal hangers. I've done this for five years without you know, any problems really. But people always like to point it out that it's not good for, for your clothes. I've never had any issues with it, um, but definitely if you are into other sorts of hangers, you can get those velvet hangers that are just as slim actually, but will just ensure your, that your clothes won't slide off the hangers. Otherwise there's always the wooden hangers, like the one that I actually have my recycled leather jacket on because they're just a bit more sturdy and great for these more heavy sorts of items. So just some words about hangers and the different types of hangers you can choose for your wardrobe, but do what feels right for you. I've had these for ages and I guess I'm too lazy to really like buy new ones because these work fine for me. Then I have a little portion over here on this shelf, which is all of my everyday knitwear. You're not really supposed to hang knitwear because it's, it can ruin the garment at the shoulders. So that's why I have all of my everyday knitwear laying on this shelf right here. I have quite a few jumpers out right now because like I mentioned before, this is my winter capsule. So really what I wear most of the days throughout the winter season is a pair of jeans and a jumper. So it's nice to have some different options. I actually have a few in the back there as well. So if I just turn around to the other side here, what I have over here is actually my occasion wear. And this is one of the reasons why I fell in love with this way of utilizing the space inside of the wardrobe, because this was actually the way they've done it in the demo version that we saw before ordering this wardrobe. So I really like the fact that it's parted here because then I can keep my occasion wear parted from my everyday wear. And then also this room is actually slightly like longer than this side of the closet, which means that I can have longer items like dresses, coats, things like that hung inside of this little space of the wardrobe. Again, as you guys know, I love sustainable fashion and I love capsule wardrobes. So I love parting my wardrobe in these little sections everyday wear, occasion wear, sports wear over here in a drawer. I like to sort of keep everything neat and tidy by dividing it into these smaller sections. And then my occasion wear capsule is sort of like the items that I know I can always count on if I have like an upcoming wedding, a birthday, or like right now it's the festive season, we're in the middle of December, so I do have some like sparkly items in here as well. This is a vintage beaded top that I was gifted by Rocket Vintage. Absolutely love that. I have a fake fur coat here as well. I have a silk blouse. I have some occasion wear shoes down here on the shelf right beneath all of the clothing. So let's just move you guys down a little bit. If we continue like down inside of the wardrobe, as you can see beneath my everyday wear here, I have two trays. These are actually from Ikea. I was actually hoping that these would be able to fit inside a drawer, but they're too big. But it actually worked out well because this shelf that I have underneath all of my everyday wear, I wouldn't really know what to use it for anyway. So it's actually perfect that I could just put these two trays here instead of popping them into a drawer because all of my drawers are filled with other things. So yeah, like I said, it worked out perfectly. So here I have like my watches, I have my belts in here as well. Then I have all of my jewelry over here. I have my necklaces up here just laying out neatly to prevent them from getting tangled and just so I have again a nice overview of what I have. Then down here I have um, things as rings and um, earrings, stuff like that. Really, really nice. I bought two for my husband Morten as well for his like 
um, belts and watches and his ties and things like that to sort of like keep them on, on display but in a nice way. Moving down into the wardrobe I have undies and socks in this drawer. Let's not delve too much into that drawer because to be honest, this is sort of like my messy drawer. It never looks super tidy. So yeah, socks and undies in this drawer. And as you can see, we had we chose this like soft close feature. Really nice. We have it on the sliding doors as well. We just haven't installed it yet, but we definitely need to. Then down here, I have loungewear in this side of the drawer. And then I have um, nightwear over here. I have a lovely silk pajama from Everlane and then just like old t-shirts, old leggings and stuff like that. I think we all have those sort of like downgraded clothing that we just use to lounge around in and sleep in. So for this bottom drawer, as you might be able to tell, there's some shoes down here. You know, obviously I keep most of my shoes in the hallway because that's where I kind of get dressed when I need to leave the house. But I like to keep some of my shoes in here, just in terms of styling. I have a um, mirror right over here and I like to sort of like move back and forth between my wardrobe and a mirror when I'm getting dressed. So it's nice to have some of the shoes inside of the wardrobe on display. So have some loafers here, I have some brown boots, and then I have some occasion wear shoes in the back here that I don't use as often, and also because it's winter right now. So these vintage silver heels with open toe here are a bit cold to wear right now, so I've just hidden them away right here in the back. Just another lovely feature um, that I've chosen to include inside of my wardrobe. I'm all out of breath, up and down, up and down. All right, so let's move back up again. Missing my head once more, as you can see. Over here in these two drawers, I have sportswear. So I have things in here like sports bras and things like that. Some other bits and bobs in here. I have a cashmere comb in this little bag. Other sports equipment like my resistance band. So again, just to make sure that everything is neat and tidy, I like to use these small dividers. In this one, I have the rest of my sportswear. So I have leggings, I have sports tops, my running jacket, just a lot of different sportswear. And then on this shelf, I have all of my basic tank tops. So this is sort of like undies for me. They don't really count in like my everyday wear wardrobe, but just nice tank tops to wear if you don't want to wear a bra one day, but you still want to like keep them in place um, and also something nice to wear underneath jumpers and things like that this is great for anything that's a bit see-through so a white shirt for example it's always nice to wear a nude sort of tank top underneath that then in this divider right here that's one of the same like ikea dividers that i've had forever but it just fits perfectly on this shelf i actually have two shoved in there so in the back one, I have all of my swimwear. So I have a lot of bikinis and bathing suits down here. Not a lot, but some. And then in this one, I have different sorts of accessories. First and foremost, I have some scarves down here. I have some hats as well. And then I have a steamer too. This is actually a gift from West Year Collective. They sent this as a Christmas gift for me last year, I think. It's from a brand called Steamery, um, a Swedish brand, I guess, because it says Stockholm right here underneath. Love it, it's a really nice color. It's nice and handy. It's great to bring with you on vacations and things like that because it doesn't take up any space in your suitcase. Comes with a nice bag as well. So I keep that in this divider right here, ready to use anytime. Then down here on the floor, I have one of my storage boxes. I have three storage boxes in my wardrobe. I actually wanted to pop them up on the very like top shelf of my wardrobe, and I did that to begin with, but then when we had to apply the doors, we had to put like shins in the, I think they're like six centimeters wide. So um, we actually, put in the boxes and then we put those shins up in the ceiling and then I wasn't able to take out the boxes. So we actually needed to take those down again. We needed to like unscrew them so I could get my boxes out and then find another place for them in my wardrobe. To begin with, I kind of contemplated buying some new boxes that would fit up there, but I just thought it's it's ridiculous because I have these three. I'll just find some other space for them. So I moved some, some things around and they fit inside of my wardrobe now, but they're not placed right next to each other, but it doesn't matter. I have one right here, have one behind me, and then I have one up there as well. So have three different storage boxes containing the items that I pack away from season to season, which is sort of like the essence of a capsule wardrobe. Everything that's not in season, 
pack it away and then you can sort of like shop your wardrobe when another season comes around. So it's winter right now, there's, it, there's no point in me having all of my summer clothing hanging in my wardrobe and sort of like taking up space in my mind. Pack it away and then I'll look through it once summer comes back around and like I said, it will be just as shopping my own wardrobe but without spending money and buying something new. So yeah, I have a storage box over here. This one is only with jeans and like denim skirts, denim shorts, things like that. And then the storage box that I have over here is like summer things. So I have some silk blouses, I have some different like lace tops, some summer dresses, some shorts, different summer items. Just moved you guys up a little bit so you can see the top part of the wardrobe. And what I have up here, let's just start with these two shelves because I don't think I've mentioned what I have on these yet. On this one above my occasion wear wardrobe, I have accessories. So I have a few handbags up here. I have my vintage Chanel bag. And then I have some hats here as well, just stacked. Here I have a straw hat, use this mostly during the summer. Have a wool fedora as well. And then I have my Baker Bar cap. Just think that that shelf is, is perfect for accessories because it's not very like wide. Over here I have the, the last of those storage boxes that I mentioned before. So this one is mainly heavier items like knitwear, jackets and blazers that I'm not wearing at the moment that I just needed a break from. On the top shelf here I have all of my storage shoes. So just as with the clothing and the storage boxes, I have some shoes that I'm not wearing right now because either they're not in season or maybe I just need a break from them. So keep all of my storage shoes up there. I have a pair of espadrilles. I have some flats, leopard flats. I have some other boots, like a pair of like nude suede boots that, you know, they're just not very suitable for the winter season because suede and nude, not very good with like mud and snow and things like that. So they're hidden away. Um, and that's about it actually. I don't have anything more on the top shelf here. On modern side of the wardrobe, we have things such as suitcases and weekend bags, an inflatable mattress, things like that. Um, we also keep our bedding in here because obviously he has, I say obviously, it's not obvious, but he has a little less clothing that I have. And yeah, like I mentioned before, I had originally put all of my um, store it like clothing up here as well and I was actually able to fit both the shoes and the boxes up here but because of like the the doors when we put them in I wasn't able to, to fit them up there like I said so yeah now I have some extra space up here for something else who knows what I'll put up there what else oh yeah one of the most swanky features in the entire wardrobe and something that Martin actually only installed yesterday because he knew that I was gonna film this video, bless his heart, he's so lovely. It's something that we talked about already before buying the wardrobe, something that we really wanted to put in, which is LED lights. So he bought sort of like an LED strap, um, which is sort of like sticky on one side. So it's really easy to apply. You just like stick it to the ceiling and then he's like plucked it in up here somewhere. There we have it. Um, it's just really nice in the evening because it's not, we don't have a lot of light in here. And obviously the wardrobe gets kind of dark, so especially now that it's winter and it's dark from like 5 in the afternoon to 9 o'clock in the morning, it's nice to have some extra light in here so you're able to see a little bit better what you have inside of your wardrobe. So just a really nice feature, really inexpensive as well, really easy to put up if you're interested in doing something similar in your own wardrobe. And then all we need to do now, because the bedroom, the bedroom is almost completely done, we only need some like smaller finishing touches. And one of the things we need to do still is to install these soft close in the doors. Because as you can see right now, when you close it up, it kind of like hammers in against this part of the wardrobe, which is not really good because obviously we want to have this wardrobe for many, many years. And I just think that if you repeatedly like slam it into the wall like this, I just have this, this feeling that it's not very good for the wardrobe. So we bought these like soft close thingies that we just need to install into the doors. Um, just like with the drawers, they have this soft close feature so they won't like hammer into the wall. So I just moved you guys back down a little bit so the angle isn't so awkward. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That is what I have inside of my wardrobe. One of the features that I really love, um, which is not in my side of the wardrobe, it's in, in modern side of the wardrobe, because again, he didn't need quite as much space as I did. 
um, is that we have installed our TV inside of the wardrobe so that we can hide it away. In our old house, we had like this big TV in our bedroom, which was hung on the wall. Um, but obviously we can't really do that here because you know, this entire wall is like occupied by our new wardrobe and the bed is over here. We're facing this way. Um, so we were like, what do we do about TV? Because yeah, we like watching movies in bed. That's just how we are. So it just struck us, why not make some room in our new wardrobe for a smaller TV that we can then hang up with a bracket so we can pull it out when we need it and hide it away when we don't. Makes the room look a lot more minimal and less cluttered as well. I hate things like wires and like tech stuff just out in the open like that. So for me, this is a perfect solution. I love that it's hidden away. Definitely one of my favorite features about this whole wardrobe as well. So that is it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some inspiration if you are looking into the possibility of getting a new wardrobe yourself and you just needed some inspiration on how to utilize the space because it can actually feel quite overwhelming. Like, Modern definitely felt quite overwhelmed with the whole design process and kind of like left that to me. I will be sharing a lot more in terms of house renovation in the new year as we like finish the house on the inside. I'll be doing a bedroom tour very soon at like a before and after. I'll go more into depth with how we've tried to make the process as sustainable as possible as well with what kind of materials and paint companies we've chosen to support all that yeah so definitely stay tuned for more house renovation updates in the new year we just need to slowly be done with the house before i want to share too much of that anyway that was my wardrobe tour i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel before you leave and then i will see you all in the next one bye guys